Hello everybody, Crips here, and as usual, thanks for joining me. So you saw the intro, I was able to isolate the color and also reverse it. So at one point I was in color, everything else was black and white, and then I reversed the whole process. So how did I do this? Well, I'm glad you asked. If I go into my FX tab, uh, if you go all, that's one way of looking for it, or you can just go all the way down to new blue, color fast there you go here it is and what is really weird next to boris graffiti new blue color fast is probably the second most favorite filter that i like or use and i've never ever shown you how to use it properly you should fire me honestly all right so let's double click go into customs filter you're going to get greeted by all these buttons and dials and so forth and you're like oh god uh, i will not teach you today how to use everything because there's so much to do I will only show you today how you can isolate the colors and then later on you can play around with all the settings yourself. However, you can have a quick play with the presets. Uh, I shot this video with a 23 frames per second with a non-focal lens, therefore giving me a little bit of depth of field and I can instantly, uh, I don't know, create more of a Hollywood look to it, add some grain to it. So I might add this a preset called Dusty. Let's do that. And bingo so you can see i've increased the shadows contrast and then dropped some of my mid-tones and it did it pretty easy just by applying a preset filter anyway i'm not here to show you that go back to reset none you can play around with all these filters if you want i will not do that today all right uh let's get into how i isolate the color if you go in here it says show mask let's do that if i go into skin mask voila it's gonna try and just highlight or just show me the skin it kind of looks like an alt negative doesn't it from you know the kodak films so i can then make my skin pop out more in my videos if i wish to so to do that i use this pick tint and then just pick it on my uh or like this pick tint and it, it's interesting to note i can use this little preview window or the main preview window because it doesn't matter because it's a plug-in so they work quite well but if I can do that to my skin, why can't I do that to any color? So why not? So let's pick me. I want to basically preserve all the colors around me. So I'm using orange because it's the strongest color here. I'm going to enable this. It says skin preservation. I'm going to enable this mask. See, it says a mask. Now I will turn off the mask. I'm not actually turning it off. I just don't want this skin view mask. I just don't want that view. So I'm going to go to none. So... There is a mask that you cannot see, but I've enabled it and I've told this mask, let's preserve the color around here. So go to highlights, midtones and shadows, desaturate them all the way down to 100 or negative 100 and bingo, you can really see now everything around me is starting to look black and white. Isn't that interesting? My saturation, I got to be a little bit careful with, oh sorry, my shadows because shadows are already kind of black and white anyway. So I'm just going to slowly pull this down until I'm quite happy with, yeah, that looks good. If I go all the way down to 100, I will also turn back into black and white and that defeats the purpose, right? All right, so that looks pretty good, but I can still see the corners there. There's still some colors coming through the corners and that's because the shape of the mask is oval. And how do I know this? Because I'm grips, that's why. Jesus, <laughs> just kidding. If I go into show mask, I've also got a shape mask. So this gives me how my mask looks. So that's why some of the colors are still pushing through because the, the shape of the mask is an oval shape. Fair or not, I can change that. Uh, shape mask, so this controls the way this shape looks. So there's a curve here of plus 100. So I'm gonna turn that right off. So I've got no more curves. So now I've got a rectangle and all I need to do now is push these to fit the entire canvas or my video frame. So here I've got these toggles and I just push them right to the edge until I see 100. And that would mean, you can see it, it automatically updates it onto my main screen that I'm now covering the entire footage. There you go, that's, that's how easy it is. Let's go back into none. So I don't want to, and there you go. So now the black and white is really pushed through all over my video. And that is how easy it is to isolate the color. Unlike some filters, I don't have the option of copy and paste to all right. So you need to drag the slider or your CTI, your current time indicator. Ooh, sound technical, don't I? You push it all the way to the end keyframe 
or you just use this where it says push to the end keyframe and then you got to do the exact same thing you apply the exact same thing again onto the last keyframe because you you have to tell each keyframe what to do all right now if i want to have the opposite effect i want me black and white and all this in color all i would need to do is invert the mask and i have this option right here invert and that's what exactly what it does Ta -da! so now everything around me is color and i'm black and white all right so i got the edges still a little bit you know with some um, orange coming through so all i need to do is play with some of these settings here like push my saturation a little bit more be very careful this is the master control sensitivity watch what happens if i just increase the sensitivity by one or two points see how the street now starting to look black and white as well and it's so sensitive i guess well that's why they call it sensitivity right so just be very careful have a play with this but to, to, to push these colors here is just a matter of playing with your secondary you got primary and secondary just play around with your secondary colors like i said i will do another tutorial to teach you the rest of all of this it is a very powerful plugin it is an awesome plugin but now at least you know how you can isolate a color so that my friends is how easy it is and as always thanks for watching